Good day, fellow Jersey nerds, and welcome to episode two of Throwback Throwdown, powered by HockeyJerseyConcepts.com. I'm your host, Ryan, and on today's Throwdown, we have two semifinal matchups with the winners meeting in our Throwback Throwdown final for this week. Semifinal matchup number one will feature the New York Islanders, and semifinal number two will be the Columbus Blue Jackets. Joining me for this edition of Throwback Throwdown, we have Corey. Corey, you ready for a classic Islanders versus Blue Jackets rivalry here? I'm definitely excited for this. Um, last week was pretty fun, so I'm looking forward to doing it again. Absolutely. TC, I mean, can you think of anything better to do than an Islanders versus Blue Jackets matchup? L- literally anything. It's my <laughs> least favorite team versus my aesthetically least favorite team. Oh, so you're in, you're in for a doozy. As they say. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Super excited. I decided to sign on for this one. (laughs) All right. All the jerseys are out on the ice taking warm ups, and it looks like it's time to start the throwdown. We're going to start off with the New York Islanders, and we're looking at their 2002 orange alternate jerseys, and that's going up against their 2018 alternate jerseys. So, looking at the orange alternate jerseys, as I said, it's an orange jersey with a blue yoke and a tie-down. It's got some kind of angular designs. Uh, They're navy outlined in white, which are going into the jerseys uh, along the sides there. And the numbers were kind of a thinner type block font with a little more angle to them. Um, This was from the Alexi Yashin era of jerseys, which is a well-known... I mean, you could throw Rick DiPietro into this era... Just a classic New York Islanders era for everything going on New York Islanders. That's going up against this year's 2000 alternate Adidas jersey, which is a blue jersey with white shoulders and uh, thick white and orange stripes on the hem. Very interesting kind of block font, which is a little bit different. Adds some character to the jersey. And then the NY logo on the front with four lines replicating hockey tape on the stick in the logo. So we'll start off with TC and your thoughts on the orange Islanders alternate Jersey from 2002. I really, really want to give them credit for trying something out of the box. That being said, this Jersey is a goddamn nightmare. Uh, let's see where, where to start. Okay. Let's go with, uh, for our primary set, we're going to have a more traditional and then we're going to have a just straight up collar for that. And then we're going to throw in a goofy bonkers one and put a tie down, you know, like old timey jerseys have, but we're not going to have old timey tie down on our old timey jerseys. We're going to have it on our new jerseys. Um, and then let's have inexplicable jagged edges with arrows pointing at our cocks. Uh, and, oh, I want to have white piping around that, but only to halfway down the arms and then have it inexplicably stop. So that it's just orange and blue on the arms. And then, you know what? Why not? Let's throw a yoke in there, even though the cuffs and a fair amount of the Jersey already have enough blue. Well put Corey top that. (laughs) I definitely can't top that. Um, I don't, I don't necessarily dislike these jerseys as much, but um, I, I, I really like the way the logo looks on orange. That's about as good of things that I have to say about it. Uh, I think that orange, it was a nice attempt to make an orange jersey, um, but overall it didn't really work out. No, it, de- it, it definitely didn't work out. I remember when this jersey came out, and I wanted to be excited for it because it was orange and it was different. But wh- there was just so many things going on here. Uh, and they all don't seem to be working with one another. It's like everyone's playing. A di- everyone in the band is just playing whatever song they want to play. They're not playing all together. So like TC mentioned, why does this have a tie down? Why is there a yoke there? Why does the outline or piping stop at the angular cuffs? And why are there big arrows pointing to every player's dick? Well, that's the Islanders. That's why. Uh, Going up against the 2018 alternate, Adidas alternate, TC, let's start off with your review there. 
this one I actually somewhat like. Uh, it it does a good job of fitting in to the Islanders branding while also being unique. Uh, I really like the uh, NY logo, how they took away all the extraneous stuff and just focused in on that. Uh, I will say the four stripes is being a dead horse. Uh, as anyone who has listened to Phil or I review an Islanders one, we've seen it before a million times. We get it. You won four cups. Congratulations. Uh, the striping is pretty solid. The white yoke, it kind of reminds me of like old timey sailor uniforms, which I guess makes sense for the Islanders, but I'm still not huge. I think it would look better if it was just blue. Uh, but it, o- overall, it's probably my favorite Islanders alternate that they've ever had. Good points there. Uh, Corey, your thoughts on their current alternate? Uh, it definitely grew on me when I first saw it. My my initial thoughts were that it looked too much like the stadium series jersey, and um, I was kind of hoping for something a little bit, uh, something that we haven't seen. But the more I see it, the more I I like it. I think that it actually improves on the stadium series. And if they were to have done that in uh, fourteen fifteen instead of just reusing the stadium series i think that would have been nice um the only complaint i have about this really and it's a minor complaint is the uh the the long island on the back on the uh, inside of the collar i think if it was if they were able to do something a little bit more paying tribute to long island considering they're somewhat back um they're they're playing some games back at nassau now um, I think that the uh, it would be a b- little bit better served than inside of the collar. But overall, it's really solid. I, I like the NY logo. I thought I liked it on the uh, the black alternate. It was kind of sad to see it go and happy to see it come back this year. Yeah, I like the use of the NY logo as well. Um, we've all mentioned the four lines. It's just enough already. I think the real star here on this jersey is the block font for me. It's just, it's a little bit different, just enough to be different for an alternate jersey. Uh, but it's nothing, you know, crazy and out of the box. And I actually kind of enjoy how the name on the back is white, but the numbers are orange. I think it really helps the numbers stand out. I like the kind of simple, a little bit blocky striping. The only thing I wish is that instead of just being a, a straight up squared yoke, shoulder yoke, uh, maybe add a little bit of character to it like they did in the stadium series jersey. But otherwise... Uh, we could throw some orange stripes on it. We could put four stripes. <laughs> four stripes? Oh, my God. It's the best idea ever. Uh, but uh, still a pretty pretty solid offering. So I will give the 2018 version my vote in this battle of the 2002 orange alternate versus the 2018 blue alternate. TC, who's your winner? Uh, I'm going to have to agree with you. Definitely the blue takes the orange handily. All right, Corey, the blue one's already moved on, but who's your vote for? Yeah, it's unanimous. I I agree the blue one for sure. All right, the 2018 New York Islanders alternate jersey moves on to our final. Now let's move on to our second semifinal, and this is a Columbus Blue Jackets matchup. So we're looking at their 2000. This is their original navy blue jersey this is a navy blue jersey as i mentioned has the original logo which features that kind of neon green this has red cuffs on it that cut off halfway uh they do have white stars in them there's a big red stripe on the hem which is outlined in two thin white lines and then the thing that most people miss on these jerseys is there's actually a b striping pattern that goes up it similar to uh the classic uh, Senators alternate logo or alternate jersey. So it's got big horizontal stripes that are uh, sublimated into the fabric going up the jersey, and you really have to be up close or own the jersey to to see that. And even some jersey manufacturers didn't pick up on that and did not include it in their jersey. The 2000 Navy jersey is going up against the first-ever Jackets alternate jersey, and that's from 2003. 
That's the Navy jersey as well and features their current logo on the front. We got a red collar with a tie down. We got black sleeves and black hem outlined in thin white and thin red lines. Three stars close to the cuff of the jersey. And this featured uh, the old oval shoulder patch with the Civil War hat in it. So let's go back to the 2000, the original Navy jersey. And TC, start us off with your review here. I hate it. I just hate it, hate it, hate it. Uh, Where to start? Uh, Okay, the hem stripe. I like the simple design there. Um, But then on the cuffs, let's just do a half cuff, a little thin red stripe with some stars. Uh, Throw a terrible font onto it. Use an awkward looking primary logo and shoehorn some lime green in there because that's, that's what the fans are looking for. And then create a bug mascot to confuse people into thinking blue jacket is some sort of yellow jacket that we made up when it's actually an allusion to the civil war. And so people won't figure that out until they're 14 goddamn years old. (laughs) Oh, wow. I was 14 when it finally hit me that Blue Jackets was a Civil War thing. This, uh, this jersey certainly certainly says a lot. For, well, what meant a lot for you. Um, Corey, your thoughts on the original Blue Jackets um, Navy jersey? I, I don't, don't... I mean, I'm a sucker for Stinger. I'm just going to put that out there right away. I love how ridiculous it is that there's a bug on the shoulders and it's their mascot. It has nothing to do with the team's identity, but I, I still too, for some reason, <laughs> I, I still, I still love that. That's the only part. That's what made me have to go out and get this Jersey for, it was really cheap because you know, it's that Jersey, but that's what made me have to go out and get that jersey is because I just had to have a jersey with Stinger on it. But I, I can't let my uh, sentimental feelings towards it um, make me think that it's a good-looking jersey because it's it's just very plain and a lot of odd design choices that went in there. And I'm not going to um, say everything that TC already said, but... I think he covered pretty much everything, but it does have a, a, a place in my heart because of Stinger. I do love Stinger on the shoulders here. That It was actually a good logo, uh, totally fitting let's, for the era. Let's not get it twisted. I like Stinger in concept. Like I, I like him as a mascot, I think he's a, but I'm just angry that it totally threw me off the Blue Jacket name. That's okay. That's fair. That's justified. But I mean, even if Stinger stuck around, like even if they could still, I don't know if they would still use the logo. They, I mean, can't use that primary logo. It's, it's already dated, but if Stinger and that kind of neon green color or whatever color they were calling it stuck around and they could somehow use it as a trim on an alternate Jersey, that would total like throw them in a stadium series game and let them use it one time. That would be, that would be fantastic to see, but as far as this navy jersey goes, uh, my favorites are Stinger on the shoulder and the kind of hidden B pattern on the B stripe pattern on the jersey. Other than but, that, but that's the thing. The, the the coolest thing about this jersey is something you can't even recognize until it's in your face. But sometimes that's okay. I mean, there needs to be more to the jersey. Like that's why the the change to the to the current logo, uh, I think, was so well received. Because this one was kind of poor, but it's still it's still a positive for the jersey. Like in the end, here it's not going to beat the alternate alternate jersey as far as I'm concerned that that it's going up against. But I mean, as far as positives, we got Stinger on the shoulder, uh, the hidden B stripe pattern. Negatives is the rest of the jersey. Those cut off cuffs don't make sense. The player number font is absolutely ridiculous. Kind of like uh, what co- copper plate gothic. You know, it's it's. It, and it became completely overused. And that stripe on the hem of the jersey, why doesn't it match on the socks? On the socks, there's the extra navy stripe. It's just completely ridiculous. But um, 
Let's let's move on to our reviews of their first ever alternate with the black sleeves and the black hem. TC, start us off. I hate it. <laughs> it's the worst example of black for black's sake until you start delving into the Islanders. Like, there's no reason for them to pull black into their color scheme other than it was the trendy thing to do at the time. Uh, the new logo, while it is an improvement, I, I still th- am not the biggest fan of this logo. I think it gets a lot more credit than is due just because the old one was so atrocious. Um, I, I like the move to the sort of ovular uh, shoulder patches. I like the stars on the arms, but... You know, I just the use of that black is atrocious. And the really damning thing for this one is that it paved the way for their horrible, horrible current home set, which might just be my least favorite jersey in NHL history. All right, Corey, let's go on to your review of the first Blue Jackets alternate. Yeah, I mean, it was. Um, clearly just throwing black on there because that's what everyone was doing. I think Anaheim and Dallas were throwing black into their color, into their jerseys just for the sake of doing it. Um, I, I'm not a fan of it at all. I, I've tried to like it because um, I don't mind their current white jersey. I think their, their home jersey is just brutal. But the white one, the away jersey's all right. So I kind of want to like this one because it led to something a little bit more creative down the line. But but every time I look at it, it's just it's just bad. It's just boring. There's no reason for there to be black in there. Um, the the three stars down the arm, it like it it reminded me too much of like Washington jerseys back in the day with the, the stars down the arms. I just don't, I, I don't like it. And I, I've tried to like it, but it just can't bring myself to it. I never really viewed, like it's from the era of black for black sake, but I never really viewed this Jersey as black for black sake. I always thought the, the Navy and the black kind of worked well together. I, and I loved the upgrade to this logo. Um, I, I just was a fan of almost everything about this logo, except for the stupid copper plate, font on the back but uh the collar laces i love the black i thought worked um stars on the arms even worked and the oval logo on the shoulders i was just all over a fan of this jersey and even to this point uh it's just the the number font on the back which i find fault with otherwise i'm I'm still i'm still a big fan of this jersey but it, it is time to pick a winner and i'm already mentioned i'm picking the 2003 alternate but uh tc who's your winner here I don't know. I I just don't know. It's it's like it's a reverse Sophie's choice. I don't want to pick either of them. But if I have to, I'm going to go with the 2000 just because it doesn't have that atrocious black for black sake. All right, Corey, who's your winner? I'm going with the 2000 jersey because of Stinger. And the two suck it, Ryan. (laughs) At least Stinger's going on. Stinger lives for another two minutes here. Stinger's moving on to the final to take on the 2018 New York Islanders alternate jersey. Uh, So we've already done the review of each jersey. So uh, we'll get to you, state your winner, and then say why it's better than the other jersey. So, Corey, lead us off here. Who's going to take it? 2018 Islanders alternate or the original? Blue Jackets road jersey. Well, this is as far as I can let my my feelings for Stinger go. Um, I have to use my head and not my heart and say that the Islanders jersey wins for me. It's just a better jersey. It's executed better. It's got a better font. Um, The striping makes more sense. Um, Just from a technical aspect, it's just a better jersey. All right, TC. Your winner and why? My winner will also be New York. 
Uh, I just think it's an overall better looking jersey. It's more consistent in the striping. Uh, it actually looks like they put some thought into the design rather than slapping some random elements. And it, it's a contiguous jersey, I think, is really the thing. Like, the Blue Jackets jersey looks like they had three different people designing different parts of the jersey and then just had them all combine it no matter what it would look like when all thrown together. So I think for the sake of continuity, it's going to be the Islanders. And I'm going to have to make it a clean sweep here in the final. I'll take the Islanders for the win as well. Uh, Like TC said, I just think it's a better constructed jersey. Uh, It looks better. The the logo, the primary logo is better. Uh, I wish Stinger had more of an effect here or the hidden B stripe pattern, but... Uh, It's not enough to push it past a solid New York Islanders jersey. So the winner of this week's throwback throwdown is the 2018 New York Islanders alternate jersey. Uh, But of course, you know, here's your chance for the listeners to get involved. Let us know who you would pick out of the four jerseys in this throwback throwdown. You can let us know on Twitter at HockeyJC. Use the hashtag HJC throwdown. And if uh, we get some good answers there, we'll reveal them on next week's podcast. Uh, Speaking of our podcasts, you can catch our Jersey Nerds podcast every Tuesday and Faker Authentic comes up every Thursday. So look for those on the HJC Podcast Network. Uh, Going on right now, we have the Vancouver Canucks redesign. Um, You're required a home and road jersey there. Two alternate jerseys are optional. But, uh, you know, uh, encouraged because we love to see jersey designs. And going on on HockeyJerseyConcepts.com right now is the third quarter vote as we try, or fourth quarter vote, pardon me, as we try and determine this year's 2000, or 2018 concept of the year. Wow, I'm really butchering this outro, but you're still enjoying it. Uh, before I butcher any further, let's get out of here. Be sure to like, share, and download all of our HJC podcasts. I'd like to thank Corey and TC for joining me on this throwback throwdown. And for you for listening, thank you, everybody. Goodbye.